So the first cafe that we're coming to is Crumb. And this place is completely local. It is owned by two sisters. And they just started this place because they're super passionate about coffee. And they were just telling us a little bit of history on how this place came to be. And they were telling us about the food. So all of these items right here are actually imported from Europe. So the Belgian sugar waffle is imported from Belgium. And then all the other croissants are imported from France. And then they really focus on having alternatives for people who are vegan, paleo, and lactose intolerant, all things like that. So they have a lot of variety in terms of what you can eat, but also what you can drink. Something really fabulous that we love about this coffee company is that they actually carry everything local. Whether that be local within Canada, like their coffee is all from Kelowna, BC, or that a lot of their food is actually locally made by people here in Edmonton. So they carry local vegan food, as well as the farmer's market famous honey cake. That's a big, big thing that they carry. Um, and so we're just like super pumped by that, and they're super pumped by that. And then for drinks, we got their Dirty Chai, which is supposed to be one of their best suppers on their hot menu. We also got their mocha, which they make with actual real dark chocolate cow chips, which is incredible for dark chocolate. We also got their Fretto, which is their most popular cold drink. And she told us that it's basically espresso shot, a little bit of sugar, and milk. That's it. No ice. It's the purest form of, I guess, like a blended espresso that you can get. So we're really excited to try it. So we just finished up sampling everything, and we were just very, very impressed with the outcome of both the food and the drinks, especially the vegan stuff. We were really blown away at how, honestly, like 100% similar the vegan food in terms of like texture and quality was to if you were to just make like a regular food item. Both Honey and I, our favorite food was the Belgium waffle. It has sugar pearls in it, and like Claudia said earlier, it's from Belgium, and it was just, it was incredible. We we're actually at a place called Swiss to go, and this is on about the northeast end of the city and you know we had the chance to really just chat with the owner and she's originally from Switzerland she's been in Canada for 30 years but she always just wanted to be able to share you know a little piece of home with everybody here and that's really what she you know tries to embody through her cafe and we definitely felt it you know the homey feel of the place the the feel that you know you're truly in Switzerland and, and you know she spoke a lot on how community was really big for her and that's exactly why she picked the location of this cafe Cafe that she did because she felt the location that she picked the community is very supportive they've always been supportive of her and her business and that's something that she's always tried to give back into the community through the dishes that she serves and through the services that she provides One of the things that Swiss to go is actually famous or well known for is their teacup cheesecake desserts. It's, we were very curious about the story behind it. So, you know, we had a chance to kind of pick the owner's brain, and what she shared with us is that her daughter actually loved to have tea parties as a young girl. And so, as she got older, you know, she wanted to use that inspiration of the teacups and the tea party to be able to create a dessert 
um, for her daughter. And there's kind of, you know, more twists and turns to that story. And she said it took her about five years, probably a little bit longer, to even be able to come up with the recipe. It was a lot of trial and error, a lot of, you know, doing different stuff, using different molds. But eventually, we are so blessed because she was able to create these teacup desserts and everything on them is edible, which is incredible. So the teacup itself is all cheesecake. It's not a baked cheesecake. Um, that's key to keep in mind. However, it is a cheesecake. The saucer is made solely out of chocolate and then there's different toppings. They make them different every single day. So you'll never know what you're gonna get. It's always a fun surprise. Oh, and then the handle is a little pretzel. So we just finished our food and I'll start talking about the pretzels that we tried at the beginning and they were so good. And one of the things that we were learning is that here they make the pretzels like German, Swiss, Austrian style, which means that they are completely vegan and butter free, which naturally leads to a stiffer, pretzel and not like a soft butter pretzel which to me depending on the type of pretzel that you have um, it'll be different and different consistency but I really like this one and I thought that it had the perfect amount of salt on top so that you can really enjoy that pretzel I thought it was delicious and then moving on to the sandwiches I honestly can't say enough about these sandwiches like mine was super good um, it came in a pretzel bun it was just unreal good I ate the entire thing and it was really tall so I had to like kind of manage and to like try and eat it but it was so good and I didn't think I could eat it but I, I managed to do it because it was just that good so today we are here at cafe lobby and this is a cafe downtown Edmonton and Abby and I are super excited to come here because we've never been here before actually and we've just been talking a little bit about the owner and telling us about this place and it's been around for two years and it is family owned and one of the really cool things that they told us is that even though the coffee that they use is locally sourced they actually import it mostly from South America and Africa as well they constantly are changing the espresso beans that they use in their coffee which can alter slightly the taste every time they order a drink here which is a super cool feature and I don't think I've ever been to another coffee shop where they do that in terms of food they have French pastries that they get from a French bakery here local as well and we're about to try everything so we're super excited today we are actually gonna be trying two of their different specialty drinks that they have here the first one is a vanilla latte which is one of their really big sellers and the reason for this is actually because they make their vanilla syrup here in house so we are going to try out that latte we're really excited um, they also offer a variety of different milks that you can get with your latte you can get the regular three percent whole milk or you can get almond soy or coconut milk if you are vegan or have lactose allergies and then the second drink we're going to be trying today is actually a pour over which is another one of their specialty coffees that they make and they have a couple different variety of ways that they can do the pour over uh, but we're just going to try one way today in terms of pastries we're going to try two different kinds today we have a chocolate pistachio swirl and then we also have an almond butter croissant so can't wait to try these they look so amazing okay so food first because that is everybody's favorite thing ever um, and so the pastries we were honestly just completely blown away by the texture of the pastries they were made incredibly incredibly well so now that we've had a chance to try the vanilla lattes we wanted to share our thoughts because we we're actually very impressed with this cup of coffee not only by the bean itself because the coffee itself tastes incredibly good and you get a really good coffee flavor in this drink but also the fact that this drink isn't overly sweet with the vanilla in house made syrup but it's also not bitter so the syrup provides a really good balance with the milk and the espresso so we're here at brown butter cafe today this is a fairly new cafe it actually has only been open for about a year this november so really really new all of the decor is very beautiful very minimalistic and you know, one of the things that really drew us to this cafe is the fact that it's called Brown Butter. So we had a chance to chat with the owners and, you know, really dig into, like, what is the history behind the name of this cafe. And it turns out that both of the couple that own this cafe, they actually have culinary backgrounds. And so Brown Butter is a term, a culinary term, and it's something that they use in the cooking of their buns. And their buns are exactly what this cafe is known for. They make uh, a bun that's got a little bit of an Asian style twist, so it's a little bit of a sweeter bun. 
and then when they bake their buns in house they actually use them to make sweet buns like cinnamon buns or they use them to make their sandwiches which they are well known for also it is really cool because they have very interesting um, coffee drinks in addition to their buns so it's a really fun cafe because they put a really good twist on food and I think that comes from the culinary background of the couple who run it just got our food super excited to try it everything smells and looks incredible so my what I'm gonna have for a drink is a dolce latte which sounds super sweet and amazing then I'm gonna have the crispy chicken bowl which is crispy chicken and then we have some rice with sesame beans and then an Asian coleslaw and then um, I'm gonna try the mac and cheese which is a spicy mac and cheese and it has bacon and then instead of breadcrumbs they put toasted ramen noodles on top so super excited to try this so we just finished our meals and my favorite thing about everything that I tried was definitely my coffee it was super good it was the perfect amount of sweet for me and the flavor was also really good and then in terms of the chicken bowl it was very flavorful all the dishes that I tried were super high quality with high quality ingredients you can tell that they put a lot of thought and love into their dishes because they each have like their own unique taste and uniqueness to them um, so the mac and cheese was a little bit spicy and it's just not your typical mac and cheese because it has the toasted ramen noodles on top which is something that I've never seen before in a mac and cheese and then the crispy bowl chicken bowl um, my favorite thing was actually the Asian um, slaw that it had on the side and it was super flavorful I loved it and the chicken was perfectly cooked it was crunchy like it's supposed to be and then it had this drizzled sauce that just brought out like this really um, nice flavor to the dish so that you're not just eating clean chicken first I want to start off with the vanilla lavender latte that I tried and it was actually incredibly good I personally love lavender so I would have loved to see like a little bit more lavender in the latte However, people can be really, really very sensitive to lavender because it's a very distinct and strong flavor. So for you, like this latte would be perfect because it's a really subtle like undertone of vanilla and lavender, but you still really get to enjoy the coffee flavor of it. I was able to try the Good Morning Bugwit and it was really good. I think it was my favorite thing that they had here. I think my favorite part of it was the fact that you could tell the eggs were cooked so incredibly fresh and like literally like right as they're like making your sandwich the eggs were also very cooked or cooked sorry, very well they weren't dry they weren't overly like undercooked they were literally cooked perfect and then the toppings including the spicy mayo and the avocado and the pickled onions they just really like blended into the flavor of it and I would definitely recommend anything that involves the bun if you're coming here to eat Sticky chai, and that's what I'm gonna try. And then Abby just got a regular um, latte that she's gonna 
try as well. In terms of desserts or sweets, we're going to try the cinnamon bun with cream cheese icing. And then we're going to try the gluten-free brownie with coconut shavings on top. So now that we've wrapped up eating and tasting all the different food from the cafe, I just want to share our thoughts. And like, I want to start with the wrap that I ate, which was called veggies on a blanket. First off, super cute names. Um, secondly, I was really impressed with how the veggies in it were actually cooked. They were, I believe they were sauteed because they're all very soft. There was a really good amount of all the different veggies, being spinach, mushrooms, as well as red peppers, which gave us a really good flavor. Here, I'll just start off with the chai because it is honestly one of the best chai lattes that I've ever had. And I know that I already talked about the history, but you guys, it's honestly worth it to come here just for the chai. It's not too sweet, um, but it's sweet enough. And also the chai isn't too spicy and you can tell that it's not a powdered drink. And then lastly, I'll finish off with the cinnamon bun because that was the best thing that we ate here. Abby and I love cinnamon buns and one of the biggest things that surprised us was the texture. It was so soft and chewy and also it really surprised us that the best part was of the middle because usually the outside of the cinnamon bun can be a little bit drier or stiff and this was not the case at all. No matter where you're eating, what part of the cinnamon bun you're eating, it was consistent throughout the entire bun and we loved it and the cream cheese icing was to die for. So one last note that we just wanted to talk about is that this place is totally homey and just has that vibe and you feel like you're kind of like at your grandma's house and she's cooking for you down to the food but also to like the cups. Um, they just have that like vintage and just home kind of vibe and we just love that. Thank you so much for coming on this cafe tour with us in Edmonton. Let us know down below in the comments which cafe that you are planning to check out, which one you love most in the video, or if you've even been to any, and what your favorite cup of coffee is. Also, make sure to subscribe and join our family. We release bi-weekly travel videos from all around the world, not just here in Edmonton as we are travel lovers. So make sure you join us on that. Also follow us on Instagram because we post all of the behind the scenes and extra travel footage on there. And let's explore together in the next one.